The Spirometry PC software, SPCS, is supplied in a white cardboard box. Inside the box, you'll find a CD for installation, which needs to be placed in the CD drive of your PC, a small white carton containing the SPCS dongle, quick start guide manual, and a unit to PC connection cables, both USB and RS-232 cables, depending on the model and connection mode of your micromedical spirometer. Insert the Spirometry PC software CD in the CD drive on the computer and installation would start automatically. You'll be prompted to enter the serial number of your SPC software, as well as your name and company or practice details. After the software has been installed, a customization wizard will guide you through the initial customization of the software for any preferences you may have regarding functionality. Once installed, the software is accessed by inserting the dongle key supplied into a free USB port on your PC. The software can be installed on multiple computers. However, to access the SPCS program, the dongle will need to be inserted in a free USB port on the PC you intend to use. After installation, the software will open with the example database available to review and look at patients in the example database. We recommend that you create your own database prior to performing any tests. To create a database of your patients, click on the File tab in the top left-hand corner of the toolbar and select New Database. You'll need to provide a name for your database. Each time you open the Spirometry PC software, your new database will automatically open to enable you to perform tests on or add patients to the database. Prior to using the SPCS software, it's strongly recommended that it's customized to your preferences. To customize the unit, click on either the Customize option on the main menu or the Customize tab, which is one of the six tabs running along the top of the main screen. Selecting the Customize tabs provides a list of customization options beginning with Select Region and ending with Change Password. You'll find the same options in the main menu if you click on Menu Customize. During installation, the geographical region will be displayed. Alternatively, during customization, select the option Select Region. As a consequence, the Regional Settings screen will be displayed. This screen allows you to select the region and language settings. By clicking on the drop-down menu, a list of languages and countries will be displayed. By selecting a specific country from the list, the software will automatically default to the language, date and time format and height and weight units typical for your country. You can select the defaulted country specific requirements by clicking on a country in the map. However, any of these along with the language can be customized and changed according to your own personal preferences. The general settings option allows you to select the height and weight units. Please note here, these general settings will automatically have been set when the country selection was made from the world map. However, this option allows you to change them according to any specific preferences users may have. The print settings allows the page width to be defined. The print report can also be customized to include the hospital or doctor's practice name and address by filling in the title and description lines. Ticking the box to automatically export a report to PDF will automatically cause each report to be exported to a predefined folder. This can be selected by clicking Browse and choosing the Destination folder. The PDF option easily allows spirometry reports to be easily added to patients' records in EMR systems. There are individual print options for spirometry and MVV measurements. Four predefined print settings are available, 
basic, intermediate, and advanced. They include the graphs to be printed, physician's signature line, and other requirements for the printed report. The report can be completely customized to the user's individual needs by selecting Custom from the options and changing the settings. The Spirometry Settings option allows settings to be made specific to spirometry. There are preset configurations according to the ATS ERS 2005 guidelines. ATS ERS 2005 without short blow warning, UK BTS NICE settings, UK BTS NICE settings, and also the option to customize to your own requirements. Selecting either ATS, ERS, or BTS will predefine the requirements for spirometry for both of these standards. The settings here will determine how the software calculates the spirometry results and how it displays the graphical information on screen. For example, the flow volume and volume time graphs can be displayed with a grid behind them if requested or can be displayed blank. There is an option to choose how to calculate the best blow from the results based on an individual indice or based on the highest indice from each blow to give a collective best report termed individual best where the highest indice is chosen irrespective of the blow it was obtained from. There's an option to set a calibration reminder prior to any test, the choice of trending results on a chosen indice as well as the option to set the incentive criteria based on the first and subsequent tests to ensure the incentive is set to achieve the target criteria. The spirometry indices for both relaxed and forced manoeuvres are listed for the user to decide which of them should be displayed in the software and printed on the report. Clicking on the corresponding box tick will generate a tick that confirms that the chosen indice will be included. It is entirely up to the user to decide the number of indices to include. It's important to note that all indices are calculated, which makes it possible to return to the indice setting after a test and increase the number of indices displayed and reported. Once the selection has been made, it should be saved. The MVV settings and indices selection options are the same as for spirometry, but are specific to the MVV test. The reproducibility criteria of acceptable manoeuvres, the number of post-tests to be performed, and the predicted value default set can be chosen from the MVV settings, and allow the user to select the indices they'd like displayed and report it for the MVV manoeuvre. Clicking on the corresponding box will generate a tick that confirms that the chosen indice will be included. Once the selection has been completed, it should be saved. The device configuration option allows the micro DL device to be programmed with patient-specific traffic light options based on percentage of predicted or personal best values. The Today List option is a useful feature, enabling patients to be selected from the database and downloaded into the MicroLab or MicroLoop MK8 touchscreen spirometers. To select a patient, simply select the patient from the list in the database shown. You may download as many patients as you wish. When the list of patients is complete, select Download and it will be downloaded to the spirometer. To view the list in the spirometer, simply select Patients and then Today and the patients downloaded will be listed. Note here that only patient demographics are downloaded to the unit. This is a useful feature to avoid having to enter patients' details into the spirometer if they've already been entered into the SPCS software and if a specific group of patients is to be tested for a clinic. The ability to manage and delete patients in the Spirometry PC software database can be password protected if required. The default password is admin, but the user can change and personalize it. Important, if the default password is changed, then it is the user's responsibility to keep a record of the new password. 
Carefusion can't provide reminders or a means of changing a new password.